So uh, Chained is a, again, a Canadian psychological thriller um, directed by Jennifer Lynch and based on a screenplay by Damien O'Donnell. Uh, and it's essentially a film about a young child who is uh, kidnapped by a deranged serial killer and is kept in his home for years until he becomes an adult. And it's basically uh, a show of him trying to escape the endless uh, abuse from this kidnapper. And as this is coming out of my mouth, I, I'm sure there's people like, babe, how did you get anything funny out of this movie? And it's not, <laughs> it's not funny in like a ha ha type of way. <laughs> like, oh, fuck you, man. You got kidnapped and now you're treated like a slave. Like, it's not that. It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> it's just like certain parts of the movie again are not tonally consistent so it takes you out of what would have been disturbing it, it feels almost like mother mommy dearest that's kind of how i felt when i was watching that movie because that's about abuse in a similar context not quite the same but child abuse and because it's so oddly made it, you can't help but laugh at certain parts and that's that's where it is in a weird way this this movie is is bordering on on camp hence why it's probably a great way to bring it here but I th- uh I, I think it really like for me personally mm. the whole movie that's why i said like the whole movie is kind of like a roller coaster but the f- yeah. the beginning for whatever fucking reason those first like 15 minutes i was just like this movie's gonna suck and i'm gonna <laughs> enjoy every second of it because it's gonna be so <laughs> shit because there wasn't anything I was looking forward to. Every aspect, everything that was coming my way, every event happening, mm-hmm. I was like, holy shit, this is bad. And I love it so much because <laughs> it starts with a kidnapping scene, which is supposed to be terrifying and fucking give yeah. you goosebumps. And I'm sorry, it's terribly done. It it's, is, it's terribly done from the <laughs> writing to the acting to like shots are dr- It almost feels like they put in outtakes at points. Cause like yeah. the guys, I don't know if you notice this when they're they're in the garage. There's a point where the lady's screaming, and the guy just stands there like an extra like twelve seconds for no reason, and he's not like intimidating her or staring her down. It's just like like almost like you're ready to hear like a clapper off screen. Like all right, now you can get to it. So fucking weird. <laughs> like I think the thing that I noticed more so than like outtakes, I noticed. Um, Going back to scripting, it is some of the most like mechanical scripting I've ever <laughs> heard for for this kind of like there is nothing that really brings you into the horror outside of like just seeing someone be like a serial killer. But like outside of that, like when you hear the main killer, his name is Bob. <laughs> Which is also <laughs> strikes me <laughs> to your heart as soon as you hear it. Right? <laughs> it's like, and like Bob is this like tall, kind of, um, I don't know. Maybe I'll bounce this off of you. Did he ever feel intimidating to you outside of him committing murders? Listen, Kenny, you want me to be <laughs> a thousand percent honest with you? Yeah. As soon as he said his first line, I laughed and I was like, there is no fucking way they cast this guy. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> respect to him. I, I, I gained respect to him throughout the movie because I started to enjoy other parts of it and yeah. other parts of the acting down the line. Not entirely, but other parts. I was so confused at the man's voice to start. Yes. Because his voice in the beginning is not the same as his voice in the middle of the <laughs> I movie. And say- I don't know why. Because at some point along the line, he ends up turning into Danny DeVito. <laughs> I don't know what yeah, happened. He becomes like a Brooklyn mobster midway yeah. through the movie. But in the beginning, I, I wrote down, he sounded like a quasi-Russian, like Tony Montana type yeah. dude. Then he sounded like Cuban. And then he just went to the, the fucking mobster in the middle of the movie. I was like, I don't, what, what, was, what was the direction for this guy? I, I don't understand. Just, I was like... Okay, his name is Bob. He has like eight <laughs> accents. <laughs> and and then like he starts I don't know, like cuz after so the kid is here after his mom is killed because it was him and his mom and they were in the back of a taxi and he drives a taxi and he drives it away from town, kills um 
the child's mom. Yes. Um, the child's name is Tim, but Bob and sorry, Bob, Bob ends up and calling Tim. <laughs> Bob and Tim. Bob ends up calling him nickname Rabbit. Mm-hmm. And so for years and years, he refers to himself as Rabbit. Um, he is Rabbit, but um, in the early stages of like forcing this child to be his slave, essentially, they do like the rundown of the rules. And I don't, and again, a scene that is supposed to be so like disturbing and frightening was just kind of funny to me. And I was like, for like a demented killer, it feels like a lot of work to like have a child here and keep it alive (laughs) and to do all those other things. Like, I don't understand, but everything that's supposed to be like terrifying from this movie is just a little bit off center. And because of that, it makes it funny. And I feel bad for laughing. And I'm so happy that when you said it was funny to you too, I was like, thank God. (laughs) Because I was going to sound like a psychopath. I was like, this movie is fucking hilarious on accident. (laughs) Thank <laughs> you.